I'm uh, Diane Pahal, and I'm currently with Sierra Club Canada, and I'm the director of our Alberta Wild program here in the province. Things I remember from the Canadian Environmental Network, well, first off, I mean, you, at that time, you're, you're, gra you know, you're very much grassroots, very limited budgets, um, and so one thing certainly meant, in addition to attending the CEN meeting and participating in the work there, uh, we all, anyone coming from outside that lower part of Ontario, knew that that was an airline ticket. That it was probably the only airline ticket you're going to have to Ottawa, for example, for the whole year. So we all took full advantage of that and did our lobbying work on issues. Well, out here, big issues were the, the national parks, the future of the national parks. There was a whole uh, debate between whether the emphasis was on um, public use of the parks or protection of the national parks and the wilderness that's there. So I specifically remember uh, one Canadian Environmental Network meeting. Uh, we would have these um, round a round table meeting with the minister responsible for the environment at the time. And we each had, say, five minutes to put forward the key issues from our caucuses or our region. And I remember putting forward that the clear-cut logging in Wood Buffalo National Park had to stop. And the minister... Um, his reaction, he was shocked, he didn't believe that the clear-cut logging was going on and thought I was somehow mistaken and, and said no, for sure it is going on and, and where and how long. Um, meanwhile, all the scrambling was happening with his aides sitting along the side at the wall and they were all checking things and that's part of the advantage of the network. You can start planting the seeds on the things you want to get, need to get done for the environment. Um, planting the seeds with the decision makers, uh, the, bureauc the big bureaucracy that is the government, and also the, um, with other activists across Canada. And in the end, the logging was stopped because of networking between people stationed in Winnipeg, myself here, up in the territories and over in Vancouver, and three different organizations. And in the end, the logging was stopped. I've seen environment, the environmental movement grow from being something, oh, that's something those people do over there, to something that at most every household's concerned about in one way or another today. Um, so that's, that gives me great hope in where we're going. I, I'm so glad I got to live this long, even though I'm not that old yet, but it's just great because you can see, uh, you can see the accomplishments. Uh, people working in the environmental movement know that sometimes it takes a long time, but I've been around long enough now I can see the outcome of the effort. So I have the good fortune of seeing that happen. And I think a lot of us, as if we all get to live to our old years, in our 90s and so on, we'll see great strides again for the environment that I can have the good fortune of seeing on the landscape today and know, yep, I was part of the group that helped make that so.